22-year-old Tiago Montero is one of Brazil's best young talents. The man from Fortaleza has used his lefty serve and stunning forehand to cement himself as a top 100 threat. I, I like to play aggressive with my forehand and also using my serve and yeah, I try to be aggressive as much as I can be. Last year was a, a great year for me. I, I broke the top 100 for the first time and now I'm playing more the ATP events and yeah, I'm very happy with the year that I got uh, last year and yeah, I start to, to believe more in myself, believe more in my game and work harder. Well, he's still very young, so I think he has a good future. I think in the clay court, he's a very dangerous player. I know that he's uh, working very hard to become a, a top 50 in the future. I think Thiago is going to be a very good player. He's a very good and nice guy, which is important. Interesting kind of game, good attitude. So he has some, some tools very important for tennis. So, so it's good for South America and for Latin America have the possibility to be a top guy. He's always uh, looking forward to do the best inside the court, outside the court. We, we had the big hope on him and I hope he can continue doing well and represent us as best as he can. Tennis in Brazil is not as popular as football, so uh, everybody, when I was young, I also wanted to be a football player, but then when I was 14, I chose for the tennis. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to help the, the tennis in, in Brazil. If Thiago already has weapons that can challenge the tennis elite, he's keen to continue to improve all aspects of his game as he climbs the rankings and faces different tests. I'm trying to improve a lot my, my return serves and also my, my volleys game because especially because now we are starting to play more in hard courts and against the good players in the circuit so and we don't go much to, to the net as the uh, American players, Europe players so uh, I have to put this in my game and keep in a good level of things. I mean you know, we are used to playing in play a lot and you hit a lot of balls from the baseline and uh, did good uh, last year in the clay, but I still have to improve a little bit more, be more aggressive, improve a, a little bit my defense skills. After starting 2016 outside the top 400 of the Emirates ATP rankings, the young Brazilian finished last year at number 82. Yeah, I'm just, just trying to do my, my career, try to, to be the best that I can in court and also off the court. For this year my goal is to be maybe in the top 50 and also uh, play as much uh, ATP that I can and do a good result in a Grand Slam would, would be good. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, all eyes are on Indian Wells and the first 1,000 level events of the season. And life among the elite, we look at what it means to be a member of the top 10. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.